floors are done, now I'm going to do walls today. And if I have time, I'm going to make foam cutouts for the windows. And then it's sealing the next day. Or maybe I'll do sealing today instead of the foam cutouts, um, just so that I make sure that I have enough, because the foam cutouts are secondary. Uh, for the ceiling because I can always buy more foam for the cutouts later. But I think the best way to actually tack this would be with uh, possibly a staple gun or whatever you can. So maybe even just this insulation just to hold it in place. Uh, unfortunately I don't have anything like that so uh, what I do have to adhere this to um, the spot, the wheel wells and all that, is tuck tape, silicone, which doesn't really work very well, and adhesive glue which I don't have very much left. So I'm gonna try to make this work, but it's it's gonna be a little gimmicky until I can get the tape down. And I also have to cut around, like this is a square. It's gotta be cut uh, once it's placed properly um, to further adhere it properly. So this is actually working a lot better than I thought it would. I'm just uh, tuck taping along the bottom here. You see that's giving it structure, so if I pull, and then what I want, obviously, is to be as flush as possible all the way along. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually get in there with the gun, dab glues along the, the top, and then when I fold it over, it's going to be something like that. So this is what I've done. This is the probably the most difficult part. I had to cut here to, to relieve tension so that I could tape down and keep this remaining flat. So that's what I've done, and I'm just going to fill that up with tape eventually. I cut here as well to make um, this panel sort of separate. And then I just pasted it onto the spots that were coming out the furthest. Then I'm going to tape along the bottom to give it structure. Uh, this is actually like an air vent right there I got to cut out. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to show you a little trick of the trade here, guys. I'm sure a lot of you already know this. Okay, once you have your piece of tape, if you're, if you're trying to s connect edges, all you do is fold it over and attach it. So this way that you can actually press this into the edge and fold it up on either side and you get a good connection. Like so. So this technique is actually working quite well. Um, what you really want is this to be nice and flush, right? So that you're still dealing with the four feet that you have between the wheel wells. So I've actually kind of done this like little fold over job around this, um, and then just boom, fold it down, and finish up the taping. So I'm just gonna replicate this on the other side once this is done. I don't have a ton of time to work on this today, so that might be all, or I might start cutting up a little bit of foam. We'll see. All right, so I went back actually and cut a hole here for this 12 volt plug. And um, there's this gap here, but I'm gonna fill that in after because all of these window things, everything around here is kind of like finishing work that all needs reflectix. Um, and I'm gonna do that once I've like used up all the big cuts that I need to do um, and then just use like leftovers for that kind of stuff. Okay there it is. Both sides done. One side looks a lot better but... Thank you all for watching these short little videos about my van build. Um, I do want to mention once again that there is an ebook that will be coming out with all the dimensions and the prices for this entire build out as well as my other ones and kind of detailing what you need and, and really breaking it down a lot better than I can just in these little videos. So to get that ebook, which isn't released yet, but to be the first on the list to receive that ebook when it comes out, there's a Google form below where you punch in your email and you'll get sent an email when that ebook becomes a reality. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and right now a list of my um, vlogs from like the previous times that I've vlogged are popping up and uh, you can click those so you can continue watching on this channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow.